So I'm going to explain my Excel uh, Digivolution tool for Digimoral 1 uh, on how to use this to uh, to see what Digimon you're going to get and to act as a general aid in, uh, in, your, in your quest for all Digimon or just for fun to get Digivolution or to complete the game. Um, so here, we're in this cell here, you can see an output that tells you what to do in order to make the Excel file function. Your current Digimon is a Digimon that you start with. Uh, we're just going to pick Agamon in this case. As he's one of the starter Digimon as well. Keep in mind though, starter Digimons Digivolve at different times uh, compared to the normal route when your Digimon passes away because you start at uh, rookie stage, basically skipping the one and a half day. Um, so the age is not going to be, you can't apply the, the age. Um, to your your Digimon if it's a starter one, I mean the age from the uh, the Excel file as we're gonna see. So we're gonna pick Greymon as our target Digimon because we got Agumon. We want to get Greymon in this instance. So now it's gonna tell us to enter all these stats, and I'll set this to 750 and 75. Um, you're soon gonna see what I meant with the um oh. <laughs> We've got zero care mistakes in the way of 20. What I meant with the difference in age between a starter Digimon and a Digimon that has been born from or hatched from an egg. Start with 50 50 happiness discipline. We've got zero battles for and only one technique. Okay, so we've chosen a correct combination. If I choose a wrong one, for instance, the Rurumon. <laughs> And it's going to tell you it's not possible. If you try to fill in rubbish, you're going to get an error. So everything has been made quite sale, uh, fail proof, foolproof even. Um, right, so will your Argumon Digital into Greymon? I bet you're dying to find out. I think we are, so let's fill in yes. A Y or yes will satisfy. Anything else will result into blank cells. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry, but at this point, your Digimon cannot uh, Digivolve into Greymon. That's not good. It will Digivolve into Numemon when it's forced to Digivolve at the age of 5. The force to Digivolve is um, basically everything up until Champion will always Digivolve, no matter what, unless you ha hit the Tenemon bug, but that's something else. Um, but any rookie that can't Digivolve into any of his normal Digivolutions will be forced to digivolve into new one after uh, four days into rookie uh, rookie stage. Yeah, four days said by my head, uh, or four and a half to be more precise. Uh, anyways, for um, for starter Digimon, it's different. He can it's somewhere between the age of four. Five, I think he can yeah digivolve age of three to four or something like that because he skips the. Uh, the rookie and in training, st uh, the fresh and in training stage. So that's what when this, that's why this doesn't apply. Uh, it's gonna be sooner. But you start with decent stats, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I mean, you can always get something else, uh, something other than the one. Um, even if it's not him on. <laughs> Anyways, so it's not gonna become Greymon, which we wanted. Um, so do we want to know whether it's, how to make Argamon Digivolve into Greymon? Well, we do want to know, that's why we're here. So we fill in a Y or yes again. It's gonna tell us what we've got left to do. Um, so in this case we still need to fulfill either two normal criteria, which is uh, the criteria for all of the stats combined, or the care mistakes, or the weight. We need to do at least two uh, two of these in total. So here it says we need at least 100 offense. So we need 25 more offense, 100 defense in total, or a minimum, I mean. So that's another 20, 25, and we need another 25 speed and another 25 brains. So everything needs to be at least 100. Uh, apparently care mistakes is good because it's not telling us that we've got uh, too little or too much care mistakes. Mm. And you need to increase this weight by at least 5 up to a maximum of 35. So we need at least 25 weight and maximum of 35. Uh, that 
that's for the normal criteria so we can fill both of these or we can pick one of these and do a bonus criteria as is being stated in here so it's either two normal or one normal and one bonus criteria another quite easy thing to do is get this discipline to at least 90 percent keep in mind though with discipline a full bar means 95 or 98 percent um, but you actually want it to be over full so the blue bar has to extend out of the outer bar basically for it to be 100 percent so for 90 percent i definitely go for full bar a normal full bar not one that is over uh, overextended or you can get 35 techniques in total meaning we need another 34 well that's not gonna happen most likely so um, let's just say we go for the stats so we get at least a hundred there we go and we get uh, make him gain a little bit of more weight and it becomes 25 weight and there we go congratulations you will get the green one you want it with these stats, if you were to get this exact situation, you will get a Greymon. At the moment, he's gonna digivolve. But it has to be exactly this. Because there are two um, priority systems that we found out. And there is one uh, that is like general prioritization. You can see the. If you look at the, uh, the Digimon chart, there's different colors. Um, or well basically the, the top Digimon it has the highest priority and the lowest one has the lowest priority <coughs> so if you unlock multiple Digivolutions um, as we can see for instance with these stats we probably have multiple Digivolutions enabled um, so I'm gonna say Bergamon and you're gonna see something really awkward this is the, the first priority system we figured out and it's the most obvious one the most easiest one to check as well <coughs> but it, it doesn't have the highest priority still because it's the easiest to understand and to control um, or maybe not to understand but at least to, to check out uh, and control as well um, I'm gonna explain this first so it says you only get the Burdermon you want it because you want it Argamon Burdermon. Instead, this will become a Greymon. This is because we've enabled Greymon, which has the highest priority. He is number one priority list. Um, as you can see in the Digivolution chart, I'll, I'll, pu I'll pull that out. That's you know, one of the streamers I was watching. <laughs> so we'll get Digimon World one out. I can show you here so we've got Argamon and as you can see Greymon is the yellow orange line <coughs> he's all the way at the top meaning he has got highest priority um, Burdermon on the other hand the light blue one is the th uh, third from the top so he's got lower priority than Greymon meaning if we enable the Digivolution for Greymon and for Burdermon we will get a Greymon. That is <coughs> that is the, the second um, priority system, second one in uh, in priority, because the first one actually does something else. It so there is like you need to meet enough require all the enough requirements to unlock a digivolution to enable it. But then there's a another formula uh, that they run, which is the amount of stats you need. So for Greymon, for instance, you need offense, defense, speed, and brains to be at least 100. That means we've got four stats that need to be, need to be that need a certain threshold to be reached. Uh, so what they do is they uh, sum up all the required stats and they divide it by the number of stats. So in this case it's 100 times 4 because we've got 4 stats and all 100 is 400 and we've got 4 stats that are needed means it, and we divide that by 4 again means it's 100 so he basically gets like a score of 100 in case of Burdermon who has only got speed as a requirement as we can see if I lower now we get Centaurumon that's this is where the uh, the calculation part 
takes effect, what I just said. But we'll just ignore it for now. So, I'm gonna up the care mistakes. And there we go. We get Birdermon. Because she only needs speed for, uh, for stats. So, if we go back to the old situation with Greymon. There we go. We're gonna get Greymon in this case. Um, so he's got four stats. So he's got an average score of 100. If we go for more brain, for instance, uh, Centaurmon needs a lot of brain. I'm just gonna up it slowly, but there we go. I just give it one more point, meaning the um, the average of the stats needed for Centaurmon. Like he's got a higher score. I'm not sure by head. You can check though. I mean, there's basically a complete guide in here. Um, the one that I used is from Neo Seekers, the, the one where they did the data, data digging on the game, so it's the true values taken from the game. <coughs> you can use this uh, as a guide itself as well, or as a database. So we're gonna look, yeah, it's just brains that he needs, meaning it's a very simple sum. There's only one stat, so 101 divided by 1, 101. Uh, Greymon has got like uh, 102.25, so he's got a lower score than than Centaurmon. And therefore, Centaurmon has a higher priority because we've enabled Greymon, but we've also enabled uh, Centaurmon his digivolution. But Centaurmon has the higher score, and that has the highest priority. Meaning that if we were to do 101, 101, 101, we're gonna get Greymon again. Because, in this case, they both have a 101 uh, average score, like a digivolution score, let's call it a digivolution score. But, then the second system kicks in, and that one is the is the uh, the priority on, on the tree, where Greymon has the highest priority, and therefore you're gonna get Greymon. It might seem a bit daunting or confusing at the start, but basically it's quite a simple mechanism. Uh, <clears throat> it was just bloody annoying to, to figure it out, but I was burned on it to, to figure it out, and I already had a feeling that the uh, the colors and the setup from the tree were not random. Um, but yeah, so we finally found out. But the thing with the stats was a lucky find, basically, because someone used my file, and it was like it's not correct. I'm like that can't be. Yeah, with those stats, you should have gotten Greymon, but he had a Centa uh, he had a Trenemon. Uh and so we we meddled a bit with it, and then Sid Montague found out about the Digiscore. So yeah, anyways, that's how my uh, my Excel file works. So you can also go for Greymon into Metal Greymon, for instance. It's gonna tell you what stats you need, a bonus criteria. Uh, especially for ultimates, I do suggest going for uh, going for some for for basically the the care mistakes, the weight, and the bonus criteria, and keep your stats as low as possible because you're gonna get a huge boost in uh, in stats if you you have low stats when he digivolves. It's really worth it. Um, other than that, there's some special digivolutions as well. For instance, Greymon and Tuvalamon, or any Grookey and Tuvalamon. So it's gonna. Oops, it's a bit long comment. But it's it's a long story about how to get him. There's basically two ways of getting him. He will digivolve after 360 hours. He will digivolve into Tuvalamon any champion that lives that long. Um, but also, when your Digimon has lived for 10 days in his champion form, that's basically the end of his life if you if you timed your training right and kept his happiness high. Uh, or or you timed your training right or you kept his happiness up above at least 81% at all times while training. Um, then you can just 
uh, scold or praise him when he's 10 days old, uh, 10 days in champion form. Uh, so basically at age of 15 somewhere, depending on when he's born. Once he passes the hour that he was born on, on age 15, uh, scold or praise him and boom, he will become Valamon. Um, we've also got Angemon and to Devimon. So it's gonna tell you how to do that one. There is uh, Argamon Nanimon, for instance. It'll just all tell you how to do it. If there's any other questions, you can uh, you can always email me on Genoshi at gmail.com. I'll write it down here just for a second. I'll also put this in the uh, description though. Uh, or if I'm online streaming, you can always live ask me, or if you see me in some uh, stream room, don't be afraid to ask me, or message me on Twitch, it's all fine. Any question is welcome. So yeah, that's it. I hope that was clear enough, and uh, good luck with the, uh, the Digivolution tool and the game. Cheers guys.